Today I will be making a vegetable stir fry with some corn, some zucchini, some squash, some bell peppers. It's a majestic, majestic miracle day in our house. So we focus on things that our color is yellow. So we focus on heart healthy things with that are yellow. So that's what I'm making today is a vegetable stir fry. Uh, a merry vegetable stir fry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mary. Okay, so when did you first start using marijuana? I first started using marijuana about six years ago. My family and I, um, I had these crazy lumps growing on my breasts, in my mouth. Um, my teeth started falling out and I started having these crazy lumps on my breasts. And so I went to the doctor, they did all kind of stuff, you know, they started uh, yelling out the big C word and all that craziness. So we moved, um, we were in a, a different state at the time and we moved back to Colorado. Um, at the same time, one of my daughters, um, wonderful, a wonderful life, you might have seen her on our channel, um, started having seizures around the same time. And so we moved back to Colorado for all of us some treatments. And we have been on Mary for about six years consecutively. That is amazing. That is amazing. And what do you use with the cannabis? Like, what do you do? Um, I, I, I'm an old-fashioned girl, so I like to smoke my blunts. <laughs> okay, okay. I smoke my blunts, but I have uh, babies children that I cook that I um, that also consume cannabis and so I usually cook with it so everything that I cook I infuse with marijuana everything I infuse with cannabis so we just use um, I grinded some early and just put it in here and I'm gonna it's, it's my seasoning so I use it as seasoning but I also use it in all of my oils olive oil coconut oil I make tinctures we also buy it too sometimes but that's before I started making my own, but I made my own Rick Simpson oil. It's going away, but yeah. So I cook with it, with cannabis every day. Everything I cook, I cook with cannabis. Is that why they call you Boston Mary Ship? That's why they call me Boston Mary okay, Ship. you are Boston Mary Ship. <laughs> so what has been your favorite cannabis meal to prepare? Um, My favorite cannabis meal to prepare is anything with chocolate in it. Okay. So I make a lot of candies and desserts, but uh, my wife is our, and, and our daughters are our uh, cannabis bakers, and so I like more desserts with cannabis myself, so yeah, some cakes and cookies and pies. <laughs> and what has been your favorite cannabis to eat so far? Um, the, my favorite thing that I have infused with cannabis so far has been, che has been cheesecake and I'm making it today. So I got all my ingredients there. I'm going to share you guys my, with you guys my recipe. So you'll see why it's my favorite in a few <laughs> minutes. <laughs> okay. And what is one meal that you haven't cooked before but want to in the future? Um, I've never cooked... I don't, I don't make a lot of sauces, um, you know, like the sauces to go on salads and, and stuff like that. I don't, I, have, I don't do a lot of that. I just, but I want to. So I, I want to get into making, because we eat a lot of fresh, my wife, and I, my wife and I eat a lot of fresh fruits and vegetables, so we eat a lot of salads. So I want to make some handmade 
cannabis dressings to go on. So some canalina. Some canalina. <laughs> <laughs> and how has cooking with cannabis made a difference in your daily life and your family? Um, well, I, I, for me, um, cooking with cannabis gives me, it, it helps my body relax a little bit more when I cook with it as opposed to smoking it. I love to smoke it, so don't get me wrong, but I like to eat it and it makes me a little more relaxed as well as some of my children. So cooking with cannabis has become one of my very favorite things to do. So did I answer your question? Yes, you did. Oh, yes, okay. Did. <laughs> so besides relaxation, what are some of the effects that you get after eating the cannabis? Um, I feel better. I feel better. My body feels better. I'm, I'm not only relaxed, but focused. So I can focus on, on things that I'm doing. My attention span is, is, is kind of short, as well as a lot of people my age. You know, I'm, I'm knocking on 50. So, yeah. <laughs> so my attention span is kind of short now. So when I tend to eat it as as opposed to smoking, I do find myself a little more focused than normal. Okay. And who would be your dream kitchen partner? Um, you could to cook with me in the kitchen. Yes. Um, you know my boy Snoop. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to cook with Snoop, but my canon chef that I would like to cook with, of course, is Scott Dura because I started watching him um, a while back with my daughter that she'll meet on Sunday, Divine, the one that's conducting this wonderful interview today. Um, she was in a rehab in Denver, and um, I was going to the Cannabis Training Institute at the time, Cannabis Training University at the time. And he was on one of the um, videos that I had seen, or maybe they gave me a link to it, I don't remember. But um, so Scott DeBra would probably be somebody that I would like to learn from in the kitchen and cook with. But Snoop, because I would have some fun and smoke at the same time. For sure. <laughs> so, how would you encourage a chef who is new to the cannabis cooking? I would tell him to just, hey, Throw it in there. Cook it. It'll taste good. Be confident with yourselves. Know that what you're doing is, is healing your family and, and tasting good at the same time. So just do it, is what I would say. Just do it. Just do it. Thank you so much, Boston <laughs> Mary Chef. You can catch her every Wednesday on the Epic Warriors. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and follow us on Facebook and Instagram at the Avenue Warriors. Thank you so much for your time and your knowledge. Thank you, Divine. Yeah. And on this part, Boss the Mary Chef is giving us a visual of how she grinds up her cannabis for her food. So she starts with filling it up with whatever strain she has. And she grinds it together and she puts it inside of her own little personal container to make it easier to season her food. It's like a homemade cannabis seasoner. But she uses all of these and she just wanted us to see how it was. So thank you, Boston Mary Chef, for the knowledge. Greatly appreciate it. Alright, so today we're making my favorite dessert. Like I told you earlier, I'm making some cheesecake. So the ingredients I'm using today, and I use something different every time. But Philadelphia cream cheese, and I just got the two-pack of the original. I'm gonna use some cane chips, some white sugar, some whipped topping, 
and I'm gonna use my handy dandy marijuana butter. And then I'm also gonna use a little of this hemp oil. And for my flavoring, I'm gonna use cherry. So I was gonna do something else, but that's what I'm doing, is some cherry. So what you do is get your cream cheese in this bowl so it can start melting. So you wanna just get them opened up like that. A lot of people make cheesecake different. I just throw it in the pot, throw it in the bowl, I mean. Go on about my business. I don't think cooking should be hard. I think it should be nice, simple, taste good, feel good to the body. And boom. I make this for my family all the time. It's one of my daughter's favorite desserts is cheesecake. And now that I make it cannabis, it's one of my favorite. <laughs> so this gonna take a few minutes to just get a little of these chunks out of here. So I'm not gonna worry about it because I'm gonna blend it all together in a minute. Get you get your whipped cream. So I use this whole thing with these two. Um, and I only bought this one packer, so maybe I won't use the whole thing together. Probably shouldn't use them, but anyway. I guess I might. So, yeah, I guess I am. Let's mix it all together here. Get you a nice little consistency to it. A lot of people put eggs extract but my recipe is very simple I try to cook with as less ingredients as I possibly can you'll see that and come into boss the Mary chef kitchen you'll see that I don't like a lot of ingredients in my foods so I'm gonna mix the sugar in here and I'm gonna just use two cups of sugar. I use two Philadelphia cream cheese, so I'm gonna use some of this cherry. It's just cherry flavoring. So I can have a cherry cheesecake. <laughs> I've never done that before. So I'm gonna also use this hemp oil. Brand new using this too. I just got it delivered, so we'll see. And then I'm gonna use some of the butter that I made in a previous video. If you wanna look that up, go to my other videos and watch how I make butter. So, this is my cheesecake gonna look like right here. So, I'm gonna get this all blended up and you're gonna see what it looks like in a second. Be right back. Oh, my dinner is done. You can see. Okay, but it's kind of dark, but it's a little bit dark. Couple of us sleep before they go on to bed. Get pressed to jot and me shake up me dead. Gunja weed a lee.